Shumberta, can you tell us about Resident Alien and your character in the series? So Resident Alien is about uh, this alien that I play. He uh, crash lands on Earth and uh, takes over Harry Vanderspiegel's uh, identity. Um, so he becomes Harry Vanderspiegel. And then Harry Vanderspiegel gets pulled into a uh, into this small town to help solve a murder. Uh, so he's an alien trying to hide out, find his device that he came to Earth with to destroy all human life. And in the meantime, he's learning to be a human in Patience, Colorado. And when you're working on a project that's being adapted from a popular comic book series, how challenging is it for you to find the balance between paying homage to the source material, but also giving it, this project and your character a unique spin? And so much of that work is done by the writers, you know, Chris Sheridan in his approach to the project. And it was done before I came on board. And there's, there are definitely similarities. There's a murder in the first episode, in the first um, uh, comic of Resident Alien, but it gets solved in the first comic. Um, and we stretch that out over the first season. Um, the, it's an ongoing thing. Uh, it just kind of becomes great source material to read and be entertained by because it you, you, it's a, you have a personal attachment to the world uh, doing the show, but it is, it's, it's a different, there's definitely a different version of it. Uh, it's, it just helps, it just helps uh, to have more information out there. But I, I like the changes that they made, the changes that were made to do the TV show. I think it makes it a better TV show. And when you're doing the TV show, it's best to focus on that world, the TV, the TV show creation, uh, and stay true to that because that's what people are going to see when they're watching it. Yeah, and over the course of the first season, we see your character adjusting to life on Earth and experiencing everything for the first time. Can you talk a little bit about how you approach that physicality? Yes, you know he's learning to walk. There's this great little quick series of him learning to brush his teeth and learning to sit down and then falls forward instead and eat. Uh, that was great. We just shot that in an afternoon. You know, it's fun to just pretend like you don't know how your body works. I took some clowning classes before we did this series uh, to play with physicality and physical, um, and physical comedy. Uh, I had taken some a long time ago back in, back in the 90s when I went to school. And this great teacher, Chris Bays, this clown teacher, um, he was doing a workshop in LA. And so I took his class to kind of just refresh, refresh my mind on that sort of playing in, 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 physica in physicality. Um, because we sort of just had a set and it's like, okay, what are we gonna do? Let's, let's do things of him learning to walk. What is that like? And so I just did different versions of that, learning to sit, different versions of that, learning to eat. I just, I just destroyed that chicken, but uh, that was disgusting. I ate bones, man. I, I, I chewed up bones. Um, I didn't know you could do that until it happened. Uh, so that's fun. It, it just became like, a, like an acting class, like a really fun acting class. 